the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. What a joy to begin the month of October in the, under the protection of the Panagia. We have that beautiful icon of Hagia Skepi there. Uh, one of our monasteries is dedicated to the Holy Protection, Hagia Skepi. Uh, this, uh, again, a, a special feast in the life of the church has many, actually, commemorations, many miracles that happened under the protection of the Mother of God. But this particular one in the year 9-11, the Andrew, St. Andrew, the, he was a fool for Christ. He was a, uh, uh, a person who, uh, St. Andrew was a, a, um, a monastic who expre uh, um, uh, practiced a kind of extreme asceticism. And uh, in order to hide his holiness, he would do uh, uh, foolish things, what would seem foolish to the world, but uh, were not uh, foolish, uh, uh, again, to hide his holiness. Um, so they, he's called a fool for Christ. That's a kind of a category of saints. And St. Saint Andrew was in the church in Constantinople, the Vlacerne Church, and they were holding a vigil, and they were praying, and he saw above uh, the altar in the apse where the Panagia normally is, the Panagia standing and holding her veil over the community. And his uh, Epiphanius, his, uh, his uh, we could say his... Uh, uh, Helpmate, his servant, his whatever you want to call him, his uh, spiritual child. He prayed so that Epiphanius would be able to see it as well. And they both beheld this beautiful vision in the year 9-11. And, and again, many times the Panagia has come to protect, whether it's the city of Constantinople, whether it's uh, certain holy places in Russia or throughout the world or Greece. And uh, as we, as you know, Oki Day in the 1950s, this feast was moved to October 28th in Greece because of the World War II, the beginning of World War II, how the Panagia protected Greece and how they were able to initially rebel, the uh, uh, push off the Italians and delay the uh, Germans coming into Greece and the Italians coming into Greece. This was very important because that, you know, allowed then more time to take place. And then when they attacked Russia, they were in the winter and that's where they, the beginning of the end, right? The beginning of the end. So uh, for that, uh, so the, uh, the protection of the mother of God is always with us. And uh, again, October is one of those months where we don't have a great feast. Uh, we have two in September, we have two in August, but uh, October and July are the two kind of the ones that are no, no great feasts. So we have plenty of though of beautiful saints and uh, uh, we're always under the protection of the mother of God. And we have this great blessing to celebrate. I just want to mention Ananias, apostle of the 70 who was called in Acts chapter 9 to baptize Saul, baptize Saul. Remember when he was on his way to Damascus, he was the bishop of Damascus and Aeneas. And of course, initially when God told him to baptize Saul, he was reluctant. He said, I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. He's trying to kill people, the Christians. But the Lord uh, insisted. And of course, uh, Ananias was obedient uh, to God's insistence. And he baptized Saul, who took the name Paul. And then, as you know, the great missionary uh, of the of of the Christian faith, uh, especially to the Gentiles, so to to the world. So uh, Saint Paul, uh, uh, again, uh, because of the prayers of Ananias and of his um, uh, direction, uh, you know, uh, and 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 of course Paul uh, being obedient to God's will and uh, being baptized, and his eyes were open to see who Christ truly is as the Son of God. We also remember it's also a special day, Saint Romanos whose icon is right by the chanter stand, the deacon and uh, uh, famous hymnographer who was, uh, the tradition had it was he had a very uh, difficult voice. Uh, uh, you know, the, the tradition was is that in Russian, they say the elephant stepped on his ear, meaning he, had a, couldn't, he couldn't hear very well and he, uh, he could, could sing out of tune. But uh, through the, again, through the intercessions of the mother of God and she gave him a scroll to eat, he then became a beautiful chanter. And was able to write many katakion and many hymns uh, to the mother of God and, uh, and uh, to the saints. And so St. Romanos, we also remember on this day, October 1st. And uh, another uh, psalty, a famous psalty, John Kukuzelis, who chanted on Mount Athos. And he was, uh, the Panagia was uh, particularly impressed with his chanting and gave him some gold coins uh, with his uh, chanting. So John Kukuzelis. So we have a lot of uh, beautiful saints that we remember on this day under the protection of the Holy Mother of God. So God bless you on your pala to all those who celebrate today, to our chanters, and to all those who are uh, celebrate on this glorious feast.